après-midi, uh, nous avons eu une réunion de caucus uh, très productive. We've had a great couple of days uh, in our caucus talking about the upcoming session. Uh, we're going to focus on holding uh, the government to account for wasteful spending. Uh, we're very concerned about how this government might attempt to, to buy off the votes of the NDP. Uh, the uh, massive increases in spending and, of course, the pressure that puts on uh, the budget leading to higher taxes uh, in the future. Uh, there are also uh, some very troubling signs uh, on the horizon about a potential Made in Canada recession. While many forecasts exist saying that global growth will go up, uh, the, uh, the outlook for Canada is, uh, is trending downward, so we're very concerned about that. Uh, we'll be focusing uh, on that as well. Of course, the China Committee uh, is up and running. We're going to be holding the government's uh, feet to the fire on their relationship uh, with China. We've got two Canadian citizens who are being detained illegally, and yet this government continues a policy of things like investing in the Asian Infrastructure Bank and has re taken uh, really no steps uh, to stand up for Canada on the world stage. Although, uh, c'est uh, quelqu'un de nos priorités cette, uh, pour les prochains, uh, prochains mois et on va continuer de, de, de montrer aux Canadiens que le Canada a besoin d'un gouvernement conservateur. Nous sommes dans une période entre les, 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 les élections et uh, la prochaine élection peut arriver n'importe quand et uh, nous allons être prêts pour ça. So we're going to continue to, sorry, we're just, we're just, we're just going to, uh, uh, we're, we're going to continue to make the case to Canadians that Canada needs a Conservative government to get this country back on track. We are in a period between elections, and of course, in a minority parliament, that election can come at any time, and we're going to be ready for that. Est-ce que vous allez l'appuyer? Est-ce que le gouvernement va avoir votre appui pour ça? Mais alors, c'est toujours notre position que euh, euh, le Canada a besoin de l'accès au marché de, des États-Unis et euh, du Mexique. Euh, Monsieur Trudeau a promis un meilleur accord, un une améliorement une euh, sur l'original le, le, accord. C'est clair que ce n'est pas un meilleur accord. Il a donné des euh, concessions au, au M. Trump encore et encore. Uh, mais c'est une, une fois dans une génération opportunité pour une renégociation. Alors, on va voir le, le, le projet de loi. On n'a pas vu le texte uh, jusqu'à aujourd'hui. Et c'est vraiment au, au le gouvernement. Le gouvernement a la responsabilité de, de, de parler avec nous. Nous sommes le, 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 le parti de l'opposition opposi, officielle. C'est un gouvernement minoritaire. La responsabilité tombe sur le gouvernement de, de parler avec nous, de, de donner nous uh, l'information, les textes. Nous, av nous avons donné. To give us uh, the wording of legislation, we've asked. To... Alors, on va voir. Uh, mais en général, nous appuie l'accord la libre et nous sommes, nous réalise que c'est essentiel que l'économie du Canada a la, cert la certitude. Uh, uh, et alors, uh, on va, on va utiliser notre pouvoir dans la chambre des communes. Dans, dans des communes dans une manière responsable. Well, you know, uh, we've had lots of conversations uh, over the last uh, few weeks and months about the last election. Uh, and as you know, it's a, it's a, we had a, our first caucus meeting was, uh, I think, almost seven hours. Uh, so we had a lot of discussion about uh, feedback that candidates had, members of parliament had about what worked what didn't work, what we need to do more of, what we need to do less of. Uh, so, uh, you know, this is a, a report to me that uh, obviously in many cases is uh, not going to be relevant next time because a lot of it was uh, about me and, and uh, well, you know, the issues that happened in the campaign and, and advice to me about what I might want to do differently next time and some of the people that were working on the campaign. Clearly, I won't be leading the party into the next election, so some of the, uh, the you know, some of those uh, findings are irrelevant. Uh, but uh, I will be sharing the key recommendations about structure and about about you know some of the, uh, the, the the things lessons learned this time with the with the next leader. Okay, so I, I want to follow up on that. Just, go ahead. Sorry. Mm -hmm. I just one second one. Just so you didn't brief the caucus on the, well, as, the as report as, itself. Well, as I said, we had a we had a seven hour meeting, our first meeting back after the election, mm -hmm. where we covered uh, much of the ground that's uh, that's but in the Baird report. I just want to make sure uh, that I report it properly. Well, we, we don't talk about what went on in caucus, but I can assure you that we've had lots of conversations as a team, as a caucus, about what we need to do better next time. Okay, and just to follow up on that, I mean, when you stepped down, and we haven't seen you since, there were a lot of questions about how you were using party money, with some concerns being raised that you were using it potentially inappropriately to pay for your children. There was a lot of expenses being questions. Can you please give us a sense 
of what's actually true there, what happened, and what is the state of the audit into your personal spending? I'll just say these, these are internal party matters, and I don't have anything to add to that story. But you're a party of fiscal accountability and fiscal transparency, and if there's yeah, hundreds absolutely. of thousands of dollars of people's yeah, money that is potentially been misspent, then don't you agree, don't you owe it to people to explain what happened? As I said, for uh, uh, this is a party with many uh, checks and balances between different aspects of the party, and uh, it's being handled that way. So I don't, I don't have anything to add on that. I, I, I want to ask you about the leadership, Mr. Shear, because, mm -hmm. you know, today, for, for weeks now, and, and today now, uh, candidates are coming out publicly launching their campaigns. Mm -hmm. We've got Mr. Uh, McKay, who launched today, Mr. O'Toole, who's launching Monday. The House is coming back Monday. You're still the leader of this party until a new leader is chosen. So what are you going to do to keep your caucus united with all of this distraction happening um, behind the scenes? Mm -hmm. It's a very good question. And leadership races uh, are exciting. Uh, they allow people to chart their course, their vision for the party, and explain to members how they're going to finish the job that we started on October 21st. It can also be uh, challenging sometimes when you've got different leadership candidates who may have competing visions or different perspectives on things. So uh, my job is to make sure that our parliamentary caucus uh, stay f stays focused on the common ground that does exist between all, all Conservatives. Uh, that will be where we will be highlighting wasteful spending, higher taxes, uh, and uh, and fiscal mismanagement that the Liberals have uh, been so closely identified with. So that's what we're going to focus on here, uh, and the leadership candidates will all make their case to the members. Can I just pick up on that question? Can I just pick up on that question and ask Mr. Trudeau when he was addressing his caucus last week? He talked a lot about the need to reach out across the aisle. That Canadians didn't want any more of the divisive politicking. They really wanted to see a change. Reflect on that because your speech yesterday was very much, we're not going to just sit around and we're going to fight. And what kind of tone do you want to bring into the House of Commons in this minority situation? Well, look, I mean, first of all, I always find it ironic when you look at the track record of uh, Mr. Trudeau and many of his ministers uh, using uh, divisive language, calling people who disagree with them un-Canadian and uh, calling them Neanderthals and things like that. And then uh, suddenly they, they pull back and say, oh, well, we all have to be very uh, civil with each other now. So I'll, I'll believe it when I see it. I will acknowledge that when it has come to things like the tragedy that with the uh, 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 the, 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 the Ukrainian uh, plane crash uh, that killed 57 Canadians. Uh, I really appreciated uh, Mr. Trudeau reaching out to me uh, and uh, that his ministers have kept our shadow ministers uh, up to speed. I think that's, uh, that's appropriate and I, and, and I thanked him for that. And, uh, and as well as, as we see this, uh, this health uh, health care issue come up with the coronavirus, I understand that there are open lines of communication. So that's, uh, uh, those are encouraging. We certainly welcome and, and applaud that. When it comes to pieces of legislation, when it comes to the, the, the track record of the government, of course we're going to be critical and show Canadians that when it comes to uh, attacking the energy sector, leading to hundreds of thousands of Canadians losing their job in Western Canada, uh, the rise of the Bloc Québécois uh, in Quebec, the massive, massive deficits that, putting, that is putting such strain on our fiscal situation here as storm clouds gather on the uh, horizon for Canada's economy. Of course we're going to point that out and to continue to make the case to Canadians uh, that Canada needs a Conservative government. Sur la course, la course, sur la course, j'ai deux sur la course. Um, D'abord, est-ce que c'est une bonne chose qu'il y ait plusieurs candidats? Là, on a vu M. O'Toole, par exemple, se présenter, M. McKay aujourd'hui. Est-ce que c'est une bonne chose qu'il y ait plusieurs candidats? Oui, alors, pour, selon moi, c'est une bonne chose d'avoir plusieurs candidats. Peut-être pas 16. Quand j'ai été une candidate, il y a un moment, je pense, 16 ou 17 candidats, je pense que ça, c'est un peu difficile pour, pour les débats, pour euh, gérer une conversation. Euh, mais je, je, je crois que nous sommes le parti de la compétition. Alors, euh, s'il y a plusieurs candidats, c'est bon pour notre parti, c'est bon pour nos, nos membres. Et c'est quoi, quoi, quoi les défis de votre successeur? La personne qui va vous remplacer, there's some challenges. C'est quoi ces défis? Oui, mais euh, c'est toujours des défis dans la politique pour chaque parti politique. C est, c est, c est des défis, si, il y a des défis pour un gouvernement de rester en gouvernement. Il y a des défis pour les partis d'opposition de gagner les prochaines élections. Mais, mais alors, il y a des, des régions de notre, où nous avons gagné quelques sièges, mais 
c'est évident pas suffisamment euh, dans l'Atlantique, dans l'Ontario et au Québec. Euh, on a des, euh, c est, c est, ça va être un défi de, de gagner les confiances dans les, dans les acteurs dans ces régions. Nous avons une très bonne base. Nous avons gagné beaucoup de sièges dans les régions où on a perdu dans 2015 et maintenant nous avons une base pour uh, les prochaines élections. Uh, so on the question of uh, if it's a good thing, uh, <laughs> if it's a good thing to have lots of candidates, uh, we're the party of competition, so it's good to have a healthy competition. It's good to have different visions and competing and, and debate and conversations about uh, which leader is going to take the party in which direction. Just, this is just me talking now. I think 16 was maybe uh, a, little uh, a, a little difficult to, uh, to, to have debates and to have uh, uh, healthy conversations about some of those things. So, uh, you know, it, it, I don't know if we'll hit 16 this time, uh, maybe not. Uh, but I think it's good that we're going to have uh, some great members. We've got some members of caucus who have already announced. We've got, as you mentioned, Mr. O'Toole indicating now that he'll be launching officially. Uh, Mr. McKay launched today. We've got some people outside of caucus uh, who have been involved, have been candidates in the past. That's all. Uh, those are all very exciting signs for our party. Great. Merci beaucoup. Oh, très bien, très bien. Oui. J'ai euh, joué un euh, jeu de Monopoly hier soir avec euh, mes enfants pour tr presque trois heures. C'était euh, parfait. Euh, non, c'était très, très bon. C'était nécessaire. Euh, euh, J'ai pris de bonnes décisions. Et, euh, yeah, how, in English, yeah. How's, it, how's it going for you now? Uh, it's just been fantastic. It's uh, it, look, it was a difficult decision, and and uh, it was a, a tumultuous uh, campaign in the weeks that that followed. But uh, I made the right decision, and uh, I had uh, I, I played a game of Monopoly last night with my kids uh, for almost three hours. It was fantastic. Um, I haven't done that in a long time. Um, yes, uh, I, I love Virginia Capel. I've 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 I've. I've I love my riding. I love the people of Saskatchewan. I love fighting for the interests uh, of, of, of people in, in my riding and all the communities uh, that it entails and, and in my area of Western Canada. Uh, it's been my, uh, it's, it's been a huge honor for them to place their trust in me since 2004, and I, I hope that they will continue to do that into the future. Je crois dans cette mouvement. Je crois dans cette partie. J'étais le chef de cette partie. J'ai présenté comme chef de cette partie parce que je crois dans les principes et dans. Uh, je, je crois sincèrement dans mon uh, DNA que le Canada a besoin d'un gouvernement qui respecte l'agent des contribuables, qui, qui croit dans la liberté, dans le, les marchés libres, pas dans un gouvernement centralisateur qui essaie de gérer l'économie, de faire des décisions pour les Canadiens. Je crois dans ces principes sincèrement. Je vais, le prochain chef, chef va, va avoir mon appui. Uh, je vais travailler pour le prochain chef, n'importe qui, uh, pour assurer que nous sommes prêts pour gagner les, les prochaines élections. If, if, if then depending on who the, the next leader is, um, you're, you're no longer going to be the leader, obviously. Are you looking to take a step back from an active role within the caucus? Like, depending on who the next leader is, will you be hoping for a cabinet position? I mean, you've been speaker, you've been interim, uh, you've been, sorry, house leader, now, now leader. Um, what's next for you? Well, uh, th that will be up to the next leader. Um, I, I did make this decision to spend more time with, with my family, so I'm, I'm not, uh, you know, I'm not going to, uh, you know, I, I really do want to do that. So uh, uh, we've got a minority parliament. It's going to be anybody's guess how long that lasts for. Uh, but I, I'm here to serve. If, if I will do whatever the next leader asks me to do. And uh, I'm a team player. I always have been. And um, I believe in this party. And I, the next leader will have my support. And uh, if they, whatever role they ask me to serve in, I'd, I'd be happy to do that. Is your intention, you say it's anybody's guess how long Parliament will last, but I mean, you could bring it down any time you wanted. So is... Well, I, it's not just up to us. I mean, like, the, I, as I as I warned during the election campaign, uh, the Liberals will uh, try to buy off the support from the other parties. That means a lot of wasteful spending. It means an even bigger government that's more and more involved in the economy and making decisions for people's lives. So we will oppose those types of things. We'll oppose tax hikes. We'll oppose uh, uh, lack of individual liberty and freedom. We will oppose the government trying to manage more and more of the economy. We, we, we're not, we don't believe, planned economies have never worked in the course of human history. It will not work in Canada. Uh, so we will oppose those types of things. Now, if the Bloc or the NDP decide to prop up uh, this Liberal government with its track record of corruption, of high taxes, of uh, wasteful spending, that's up to them. Uh, but, uh, you know, so we're, we're going to be ready. Uh, part of this leadership, uh, part of my time in, in this position of leader uh, until a new leader is chosen will be focused on making sure that our caucus is ready, our, our party is ready, that we've got uh, you know, processes in place that when the next leader takes over, 
he can he or she can make certain choices, but that all the groundwork has been done for that choice for those choices to be made and will be election ready as quickly as possible. How do you do that? I mean, we, we've seen over the the last uh, number of, of weeks and months um, the, the fact that people were, were questioning your leadership and the fact that um, you didn't take a strong enough stance on you know, LGBTQ issues. We now see the party divided again with the social conservatives and with more progressive conservatives. So. As this leadership race unfolds, like, what are you going to do to make sure that all sides of your party are united? Because well, we've seen that happen now with with people, um, uh, you know, on, on one side of the party coming out and uh, being very critical of, of Mr. Dick Harry's comments. Well, look, uh, as I said, you know, leadership races are are, are exciting and, and offer opportunities. They can also pose challenges for for reasons that you've just uh, articulated. My job is to keep the caucus on that common ground that exists between all different conservatives. And when I ran for a leader in 2016, I, I said that if you had two lists, and on one sheet of paper you have all the things we disagree on, and on the other sheet of paper you have all the things we do agree on, there's way more things on things we agree on. Uh, there's way more things on the list of things that we agree on. Let's focus on those. <laughs> I've always been uh, very clear that our party is a party that respects the rights of all Canadians, uh, that respects the rights of LGBT Canadians, that we'll be a champion for individual liberty and individual rights, and we'll continue uh, to do that. Uh, so uh, how do I do that? How do I make sure our party's ready? Well, some of it is structural, you know, making sure that we've got candidate recruitment processes in place. You know, we've got to look at some of the tools we used in the last election campaign that maybe weren't uh, as good as the other parties and how we can up our game. And without binding the future leader uh, on, on, uh, on decisions, you know, but at least d have done the preparatory work so that they can choose from a suite of options where all the background work's already been done. Anyway, I'm going to run. Thanks very much. See you later. See you.